local libraries are looking at new ways to help children learn. Bricks rather than books are the focus of this program that encourages making things. We'll tell you about it when the News at 5 returns. I'll show you something that's not so traditional inside libraries, and your little gals might like this. Nearly 30 librarians from all across the state came together today promoting creative learning in libraries with building projects using Brick Lab and Discover E-Kits as part of a program called Make It at the Library. It's now in its second year. The program reaches libraries all over the Gem State with the goal of creating what they call maker spaces. Erica Compton with the Idaho Commission for Libraries says the first year was a great success. It was a pilot, and we didn't know how it was going to work. It was overwhelmingly successful. It's received a number of, um, a lot of national attention. This year, the program expands to 11 libraries, encouraging all this fun inside your local library. If you'd like to know if your library is participating, just give them a call. And we'll be back with more news at 6. Good afternoon. Many children gathered in the Jerome Public Library for a hands-on learning experience. The Make It program meets every Monday from 3.30 until 5. It's free and open to the public. So far, 11 libraries in the state have joined the program, including Twin Falls, Gooding, and Buell. Allison Morgan, the youth program specialist, explains how it came about. The Make It at the Library program was designed and coordinated by the Idaho Commission for Libraries to engage our local community in hands-on learning projects and activities using the STEAM process. Now the STEAM process includes everything from science, technology, to engineering, arts, and math. Now if you'd like more information about the Make It program, head over to our website at kmbt.com. After regional competitions...